welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the best day possible. So I just think we should just jump right into it. Today I thought that I would do a little wedding guest outfit ideas video. Now I have had or have got a couple of weddings this summer. Um, Harv's sister got married the other week and my brother is also getting married next month. So I was looking for lots of wedding guest dress options. That is a mouthful, wedding guest dress options. Um, and I actually found it quite difficult sometimes. So I just thought I would show you all some of the dresses that I did get. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So for reference, I am a size eight, sometimes 10, but usually eight. And I will link all of the dresses that I can find down below in the description box. So the first dress is actually one that I wore to Harvey's sister's wedding. Please excuse the stain on the back, but um, I don't know how that happened, but that happened during the wedding and I have not had a chance to wash it yet. So yeah, ignore, ignore this. <laughs> it looks quite bad. It's quite unfortunate placing. And it is this. Now it's quite hard to show you like this. So I'll put the little try on clip over here. Um, but it is this sort of um, quite pale baby pink, tight fitted, off the shoulder um, midi dress. It is really beautiful. I really like the detailing up at the top here. This dress is from True Violet and it is in a size 10. The material is super thick and I feel like it really like holds you in place and yeah it's not see-through at all which is amazing because yeah that's what you need it also has this split detail down the back and that's important because it means you can walk in it um a lot of tight fitted midi dresses you like have to like waddle um this one however you don't because yeah it's got that little split this dress is absolutely incredible and i really love this option now the next dress is something a little bit different and it is this number so again i think this is probably like a midi fit um but it is quite different to the dress i showed you earlier it's slightly more sort of low cut but it's got the sort of milk made um sleeves and then it flares a little bit at the bottom but not too much and it has this gorgeous split down the skirt which is absolutely beautiful you also have these two straps so you can tie it around your waist just gives you a bit more shape and yeah it just means that it can fit to your body a bit better now this one is from asos design in a size uk8 also for the record the pink one that i just showed you i also got off of asos so my next dress is from Zara and it is this cute little number. Now, guys, I don't really know how to describe this colour, if I'm being honest. It's like a brownie greyy with a sort of aubergine tinge in certain lights. Um, yeah, like a grey brown purple colour. Like a mix of all those, I don't know how to describe it. And it is really beautiful. It's got these very thin spaghetti straps and it has this, I wanna say cow neck, but I don't know if I've completely just made that up because it sounds a bit weird. But as you can see around the chest, it has that sort of droopings look, which is absolutely beautiful. The back is quite low cut. So a uh, bra, mm, maybe a no-go in this, but I really, really love this dress. It's super flattering so this dress is from zara and it is a size european s okay so the next dress is a little sort of looks like satin number and it is this sort of dark emerald green that um i've seen in a lot of places over the last year or so again it has this beautiful like drooping look at the front um it is also a midi dress there's a slight theme to these. I like my midi dresses. Um, and it has, again, a split. Woo, I'm lost in the material. It's, <laughs> I actually am. I can't even find the back of it out. And again, it has this split at the back, so you can walk in it without too many issues. Now, this dress doesn't actually fit me quite right. I think I might have got the wrong size. It is from Pretty Little Thing, and it is a size 8. Um, but it just doesn't quite sit on me right. But I think um, if this is the sort of dress that does usually suit you and fit you well, this would be a really beautiful option. So my final dress, I'm not sure if this is going to be a bit controversial because it is black and white. So obviously it does have quite a lot of white on it. But it is this gorgeous little number from Zara again. Um, and it has this beautiful um, sort of flowery pattern on it. 
As I said, it is black and white, so you might want to check with the bride if they're all right with you wearing white to the wedding but i feel like because it's interspersed with black and it is a pattern it is more acceptable i think but you might want to check <laughs> it's got this beautiful buttoning detail at the front i would say with this dress my bigger boo people you might struggle a little bit with this because as you can see it's not got the most of material at the front and it is not really possible to wear a bra unless you can find a backless bra because it comes down really low and there's loads of strappy ties and I think wearing a bra with a back on it would just look a bit odd. Unlike the others, as you can see, this one is maxi, which I actually really, really love. It's super light material. I feel like this would be perfect for like a summer wedding maybe. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just obsessed with this dress, I love it. I think I might wear this one to my brother's wedding. So again, this dress is from Zara and it is a size S. So yes, those were the wedding guest dress options. Again, I'm struggling to say that. Um, I hope that you found this helpful. It gave you some inspo or maybe you even found a dress that you really like. Um, really surprised me how difficult it was to find dresses that I actually liked and could wear to this or to these weddings. Um, so if you're struggling, I feel your pain. I took ages and actually the dress I ended up wearing to Harv's sister's wedding, Harv picked it, which kudos to him because it's quite a nice one and we literally got it I think less than a week before the wedding so I didn't mean to leave it last minute like I had been searching I just haven't seen anything I liked so yeah it was quite the struggle and I know personally I was YouTube searching wedding guest dress videos because I needed some inspiration and yeah that's why I filmed this in hopes that it helps some of you guys I hope you did enjoy this video and that you have the best time if you're going to weddings or if you're just looking for more occasion dresses that you enjoy yourselves and that you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and like I said before, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know in the comments down below which dress was your favourite. Which do you think I should wear to my brother's wedding? Because I'm not set yet. I just thought um, the black and white one was very summery and just cute. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day and I will see you very soon. Mwah. Bye.